what's going on guys today I thought I would show you guys some of the useful things that I use for a set of Corsa and uh, the first thing I'm gonna show you is real head motion some people have issues with uh, downloading this application I guess you'd call it and uh, the main issue is that you need to download this software called FreePy and it doesn't uh, include the 64-bit uh, version and this is dependent whether or not you run AC on 64-bit, uh, which most of you probably do. Uh, I'm gonna show you uh, real quick on whether, on like, how to sh check if you're running 32-bit uh, or not. But by default, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to be. Okay, this is what I believe is the issue. So if you go to your options and then general. You can see for mine, it's uh, unchecked for force 32-bit, which I don't know if is default or not, but I can imagine it's default. Again, I'm not 100% sure this is the actual issue, uh, but if yours is unchecked, that means you're running 64-bit. And if you go to Google and search up a set of course of real head motion, there's a website for real head motion, and the free pie link there does not provide you with a file for the 64-bit and you can do everything right to install it and which it should be simple and it won't work because of that reason so um i'm providing a link that i found that has uh the actual 64-bit file so what you need to do to install this it's uh, fairly simple is what i did is in a set my main is set of course folder through steam I created a folder just real head motion and you want to drop this in here. You don't need a, uh, this. This is just settings. If you uh, drop this in the main here, it's just the settings for, that came with this. And uh, so that's the first thing you need to do. And the second part is go to the free pie and you want to install it. It's here. So now that's done, you want to go to the 64-bit file, go to where you uh, installed it, and then you just want to drag and drop this file into there, and then yeah, yep. so now you have the 64-bit version, and then you want to go back to your real head motion, open it up, go to the console path that is in where you downloaded FreePy here and then for the script it's gonna be in your real head motion folder and that's all you should need to do for it to work if you're running the 64-bit version which you most likely are and this uh, doing like the settings that I'm not like the only thing I mess with is like I said these to zero and I set this to like two or three that's for uh, when I run Oculus Rift, obviously you have the look options if you want to like uh, have it attached to your steering wheel if you want to like have your head move and stuff in the game. But I don't do that, so this is kind of like all up to you to just kind of like mess with. That's what I did. I just sat there and just mess with the settings until I was like, okay, this is good. Also, one important thing you need to do in order for this to work is go to your video and options and go to view. And make sure that lock onboard camera to horizon is unchecked, otherwise it's not going to work. That is an important detail that you cannot miss uh, if you want this to work. Another useful thing that I haven't used in forever is Content Manager. This is on AC Drifting Pro. Uh, I never even thought about using this because I use this once like when a set of course that first came out, there was a content manager, but it was super weird and just, I didn't really understand it, so I never used it. But uh, I recently just checked it out, the new, newest version, and it actually seems like something I could definitely use and is uh, very useful. So what you need to do is go to AC Drifting Pro, I'll leave in the description, the link to it, and you just download it there at the link and it opens up a Google Drive. Uh, once you download it, all you literally need to do is just uh, drag this exe, content manager exe, anywhere you want. I personally put mine right here on the uh, desktop. And what's nice about it is you, once you open it, 
it looks very nice compared to the last time I ever saw this thing. But there's also like uh, all these filters and stuff, and you can check which servers you're not missing anything on. But if you can see here with the uh, little warning, it says, "Oh, you're missing these cars," and it gives you all these links uh, to these cars. So obviously, these are actually Kunos cars. So let me try to find. Okay, this is see. It says I'm missing this in this track. If I click on it, it's gonna go to the uh, Assetto Corsa database website. Great, right, that one's not working. It's a bad example. That that is one downfall to this is that I found that it's unfortunately yeah it's unfortunately bound to the Assetto Corsa database website, which isn't I don't believe is official. So some of these mods are, might be kind of hard to find, but it does at least give you. Uh, geez, okay. Well, I'm not getting lucky with that, but see, now this one works, so now it can show us uh, the download link to this mod. So that is a very useful uh, app, and you can also even join from here. So this is like kind of replaces your uh, multiplayer online tab for whenever you're in the set of course of U UI. This is just, in my opinion, a lot better in. Of course, you can, uh, where is it? You can sort and everything here, so it's, it's pretty useful and uh, very nice to use. Another tool I like to use is Force Feedback Clip. It's an app that you can download, and of course, I'll leave the link to this in the description. There's through race departments, you need to have an account, just FYI. And uh, if you've never installed apps, all you need to do is go to your main set of course of folder wherever you downloaded that, and then go to apps, at Python, and then you just drag and drop it in here. As you can see, I already have it in there. That's all you need to do. But you also need to go into your set of Corsa and make sure it's enabled in, I think, I believe the general settings. That's important, otherwise you're not gonna see it. Uh, that's one thing to look at. So basically what this app does is monitor your force feedback and just make sure that uh, your force feedback is not clipping. So you can set it to a auto mode as you can see here and basically as you're driving it just monitors over time and make sure that your gain, your force feedback gain is not set too high and it just does what exactly what it should do and just uh, obviously makes your force feedback at the correct level of gain so you do not get any force feedback clipping. Another app that I find very useful for a set of courses, especially getting those kind of cool intro shots and stuff like that, is Joycam. And this is another app through uh, Race Department. So you're obviously going to need an account for that as well. And before you download it though, I do recommend you go into your main Assetto Corsa folder and then go to your system and then config Assetto Corsa. And then what you want to do is enable dev apps at the one and go down to camera and allow free camera. That's very useful for this app. So make sure you do that and also remember to save. That's also important. Also, just like the last app, you gotta install it into apps, Python, and one little thing that I'm going to show you is how mine is personally set up. So you go into the config of the app, and these controls and stuff right here, these are important. Obviously, you can adjust this however you want, and this is through an Xbox One controller. That's what I use. And feel free to copy my own settings because this is kind of like set up uh, Kind of like how you'd expect it to be on default it's kind of weird and just hard to get used to but i found that these settings are kind of just like the typical you know like if you're in, in like battlefield for example and you're flying a jet with a controller this is pretty much it although you uh you can uh, change whether or not you want the uh i think it's the pitch up or down whatever it is uh to be inverted or not mine's inverted so when you pull down on the uh, right thumbstick, it should go up. That's what I'm used to, but uh, I believe right here, you just change it if it's negative or positive, if you prefer one or the other. 